Hey guys, I'm so excited to take you with me today. So I'm going to show you what is in my bag. So I did pack some extra deodorant and some lip gloss. I also covered up the tags on Lucas's bag. They had his name and his um, school on it. Since this is his backpack that he uses for school. So just to be safe, I went ahead and got all of that covered up. I just used some labels that I can take off. This is mine and his water bottle. They're both full. Um, mine holds or keeps water cold for 24 hours. And then he just has this little Hydra Peak that he takes to school on a daily basis. So it does have his name sort of written on the bottom of it. Um, but this is a towel water bottle. I just got it from Walmart and it's actually been so great. I also packed some extra waters now. Um, it does show you four, but I ended up actually only taking two of them. Water's just so expensive when you're out and about, especially at events. So I just wanted to uh, make sure he had something to drink all day without breaking the bank for $4 water. I just made some peanut butter squares as well. All it is is peanut butter sandwich cut in squares and some gummies packed into a bag as well. Um, the bags help me keep everything organized so I'm not digging around for everything. But also I can just put all this stuff into our snack drawer when our day is done if it's not devoured by then. I also made this horrendous little cone full of cereal. It's supposed to be really cute but it really turned out to look like something from your nightmares. So um, that was cool. <laughs> But that is his favorite cereal and he will snack on that throughout the day so um, I figured that would be a good little treat too. Now I did take my Dash mini waffle maker. I have one that has like a gingerbread imprint and I made chocolate chip gingerbread waffles. Um, I did use water so they were a different texture but they turned out to be really good. I did try one. Um, I just used green, red, and like confetti cupcake liners to keep them separated in the ice cream container. Now, this container is reusable and it's from Tavolo, and I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right, but um, it's great. We have a couple of them for when we make homemade ice cream. I also obviously brought my wallet, and you can probably hear Lucas in the background. Um, as I'm recording this, he's in his room making all kinds of random sounds because he knows I'm busy working and he's just trying to um, be silly. So this is everything that we brought and I am so excited to take you guys with us. I'm going to show you real quick how I packed our bag as well. So as you can see, I just organized everything in the backpack. I put the waters on each side just to keep the weight evenly distributed however I did only end up taking two like I said before um, and I am going to put his water bottle on the side and then I just carried my water bottle throughout the day and now we're packed and we're ready to go let's explore Asheville and here we go on our way to Asheville it was only about an hour from Shelby, North Carolina, which is where we're located. And so um, we just got to enjoy a beautiful mountain drive and just enjoy the surroundings. So as we got to the event, we looked around and as you can see through these clips, there was a lot of vintage stuff. However, we didn't find a lot of stuff that was gifty stuff. We found a lot more decor stuff, which wasn't really what we went for. Um, as you can see, you know, a lot of this stuff does have a vintage feel to it. Um, but there wasn't as many vendors as we thought there was. So it didn't take us very long to actually get through the entire event. Um, and a lot of them did not want photos or videos. This Santa Claus Lucas loved, he was like $250. So that was a definite no. And this vendor, um, I didn't get their name, but they had jewelry, and Lucas loved their jewelry. Um, he tried the necklace on, and then he tried to get me to try it on, and I was like, put it up, because I don't think we're supposed to even try these on. 
Um, and then we did come across a vendor. This was our favorite candle vendor, the Peaceful Porch Candle Company, and 25% of all of their profits go to Families Fighting Cancer. They had little kits where you could make your own candle in your little dough bowl, and honestly, they had the best scents out of anyone. They were phenomenal, and I would go back to see them. Once we left the show, we didn't have to drive far to get to downtown Asheville, but we did have to drive just a little bit. Um, honestly, the drive was just so peaceful. It was beautiful, all the colors, as you can tell. As we got further into Asheville, we could see graffiti and art all over like buildings and just, it was so amazing. I had never actually been to Asheville except for a mission trip when I was younger. And as you can imagine, we didn't explore very much, but it was just phenomenal for us to go and just be able to go downtown, explore and take in what is Asheville, North Carolina. Literally the atmosphere, the people, everything was just, it was just phenomenal. After we left Mellow Mushroom, we went to Old Europe, which is a pastry shop, and Lucas got the Rijo Jancy, I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it's chocolate cake, chocolate mousse, and chocolate ganache, which he had today. And after that, we headed home to Shelby. That was our day in Asheville. Hopefully next time we'll get to see more and do more. But until then, like, follow, subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.